Dominique Fagan, a second-year Centennial resident, does his work. But when you have to go, you have to go. Fagan says nothing angers him more than being unable to use the restroom because of urine-drenched floors, toilet seats, and even having to deal with unflushed toilets. We have an example right here. The toilets are dirty and... Dirty toilets and garbage has made Fagan believe the custodians don't clean as regularly as they should. So sometimes I think they clean the bathroom uh, pretty well, and then other times uh, it's halfway done. Like on Mondays, it's pretty good. Um, it's clean, but then as it gets towards the week, it starts to get sloppy. Around the corner, Connor O'Brien says you find dirty sinks, soiled toilets, along with unflushed ones in Hebron. Yeah, like that. <laughs> That's, that's pretty bad for even Hebron. As a Warburg custodian, there's many different tasks that you have to do every day. So if I was one, I first have to start my day off with sweeping. When that's done, I have to clean the toilets. And after all that's done, that's even, not even part of the job of a janitor. There's still more to but do. Wiping mirrors isn't the only thing Warburg custodian Adam Gardner does. Cleaning Herodfield sinks and getting rid of what a student forgot to flush is something he deals with every day. So it's not flushed. Pull the paper on the floor. Gardner said he didn't want to be interviewed, but Fagan and the Hebron RA, Andrew Johnson, said something needs to be done and it's the student's responsibility. I say uh, that's something that could be done. They could leave at least some wipes or something that we could be able to use to wipe down the toilet if we need if we needed to. I think it's more probably on the student side because I mean as much as people like blame the custodians like they can only do so much. With hair, unflushed toilets and garbage, Gardner says it's poor and students could get charged. Reporting for WTV8, I'm Charles Timms.